In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a valuable resource for images that you can use in X Lights. Now, we all know that you can grab images from Google using the image search, but they're not always really useful. They're either too high resolution or they might just be not what you need. So we've covered in a previous tutorial that you can use Christmas fonts to get images. But the real problem with these is they tend to be monochromatic. So you can see just, in this case, black and white, or you could change them to another single color. But the images themselves are perfect for X lights. And you're not just restricted to Christmas ones like I'm showing here. You've got things, if you look here, for Valentine's, Easter, Halloween, etc. So this is what we're going to be using for creating images for X lights. So to install these, it's just nice and easy. You just select the font that you want. So I'll just demo this with this one called Hello Christmas Icons. I just click download. And you'll see it downloads here. If I open this, you will find a TTF file. And all you do is double click on those and it will install the font. So once we've done that, I suggest you go to the Microsoft Store if you're on Windows and download a tool called Character Map UWP. It's completely free. And you download and launch the tool. And when you launch this tool, you'll get this interface. And you can see, I can see all of the fonts on my system, including some Christmas ones that I've installed. And what this will allow me to do is, it will allow me to browse through and find the type of image that I want. So once I, uh, I've scanned through here, I think, okay, that's a nice Christmas image. Remember, I've got hundreds of these, so there's other fonts as well. But I'm going to use this one uh, to demonstrate. All I need to do is select Copy. And I'm going to be using Photoshop. However, I'll quickly show you that it can be done in a free tool called GIMP as well. But for now, I'm just going to Paste this in here. Oops, sorry. Do that again. Copy. If I come to Photoshop, I now need to use the text tool because it is text. Okay, and now I can just press Control V to paste that image. I'm just going to highlight this and change the lines to black. Okay and I'll move it into the center of the screen. Now, because this is a text image, uh, in actual font, you can't use the standard Photoshop tools for things like here, the paint bucket tool to fill in. You see, it's not allowed. So the first thing you must do is right click on that text layer and choose rasterize type. What this does now, it turns it, this image into a standard bitmap image. And now all I need to do is select the colors. So I'm going to say make this box here. Well, it's already green, so I'll, I'll leave it at green. And I'll use the paint bucket tool. And I'll just fill in the appropriate parts of this gift here. And then click here. And I'll choose another color. Let's say I have a red. This one here. And then I can start or in the ribbons, this, and you get the idea. Now you would go through all the image and I've done that in this case here, I've done two here. And I want to show you an example here as well. If I go back in my history, a problem that you can sometimes face with some fonts. If we zoom in on this font, you can see here there's a gap. So if I try to fill in this case, we get a disaster like that. So what you must do is go to the brush tool, okay, 
You can do this by typing B on the keyboard or just selecting the brush tool here. Then choose black. And all you need to do is fill this gap. And now I can do the same thing here now and use the paint bucket tool and the fill will work as we would expect. Okay, so once you have colored all the image in, I'll get rid of this one. I'll just imagine this one. We want to turn the background off because we want to save this as a transparent image. And now I'm going to crop in on the image. There's no point having things outside the image. So you see now I have the image and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to export, quick export PNG. If I do this and I'll just save it to my desktop for now and I'll just call it presence. Now if I go to X lights, I've got a matrix here and now I can just add picture object onto my matrix and now I can point it to a presence picture and then choose scale to fit and you can see we've got a nice image that we can use on our matrix so that's how we do it in Photoshop I'll quickly show you a similar thing in GIMP so same again there's a text tool yeah, so you can just click text and you can type the appropriate letter or cut and paste uh, as I did before. Change it to black again. Okay, and you can see I just need to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so you can see you can uh, get the images in. In GIMP, you don't need to rasterize the type layer. So all you need to do is go to the paint bucket here then you can click the color the foreground color here to the color that you want so i move here i'll choose say red and i will just do the scarf here maybe i'll choose a yellow okay and you can color it in exactly the same and again what you would do once you've finished you would use the crop tool to crop the appropriate part that you want and then again turn the background off so we keep the transparency ah, there we go export again it's export image and we export it as a png and i could call this you know uh, snowman obviously i didn't complete that one so there you go. So that's how you can create new images for X lights. And there's literally hundreds of fonts to choose from on that website. Okay, so enjoy.